Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Trim Season, which is a new horror film coming your way from co-writer and director Ariel Vita, focusing on a group of young women and one trans man who wind up taking a job trying to trim marijuana and out in this isolated farm that's run by this mysterious woman played by Jane Badler, and what occurs over the course of this film is certainly a mix of creepy folk horror elements, and this film certainly has some impactful themes, as you certainly see this dynamic of these women and trans men building this connection of, you know, you have this sisterhood, especially between Emma and Julia, our two main characters, played by Bethlehem Million and Alexandra Iso, and the two of them have a great relationship. They have one of those strong kinds of dynamics, and I think Juliet Ken de Bethelenzi, she also brings an interesting character to the table here. So you could get behind this group of people who are working together and unexpectedly fall into this web of horrors and these disturbing elemental things because this film digs deep into that like humanity versus nature kind of conflict and Bedler's character Mona uh, really manipulates the elements and in some horrifying ways there's one particular scene with like a doing some drugs gone bad that turns bloody and disgusting this film has some really solid body horror and i feel like vita does a great job of picking those moments to go with that there's a bit of like body control elements and a lot of the cast members have to you know do their best doing like creepy, disgusting, distorted movements and stuff like that. It does pull on a lot of, like, checklists of different kinds of things that you see in full car, but, and it's not particularly, like, unique or different, but it is still creepy, and Vita's able to find ways to unnerve you, get under your skin, between the body horror and those kinds of elements. I do think the film gets a little bogged down with too many characters, because you have all, like, the sons that work for Mona, and they each are coming from different places. One of them's a little hesitant about what they're doing, and it gets a little bit messy towards this third act as everybody's kind of getting into their places in terms of what they mean to this story. But in general, I think there's some good, solid performances across the board in this film. It has some creepy elements, and has some interesting themes and ideas. It definitely digs into, like, that mother, motherhood kind of thing, in terms of, like, Mother Nature and Mona with her sons, and dabbling into that as well. But in the end, this is a creepy and unnerving experience that is certainly going to pique the interest of those who are big horror fans, and maybe even some, like, this might be a film that can get a little bit more attention because it does spend the time helping you connect with these characters and has some interesting and relatable themes that go along with it. But those are my thoughts on Trim Season. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.